it came was a bit of as you already know yes today we are doing a meet and create for youtuber and it's a weather man that organized it so i'm going for the event right now so stay tuned back soon guys so we're doing something good something nice for you guys i love you guys that's baby So Miss Rudy, yeah. um, you've had your own share of social media banter, right? People coming at you here and yeah. there. I'm not going to talk about that. I want to take it from a different angle. You decided to build YouTube with your camera because that's what you had, right? Uh, now, you, you kept getting subscribers. It was growing and all that. But you still kept doing it until recently when you got yourself a camera. Why was that? Why was this thing with the phone a great time for you to still continue building with the phone? What experience did you do? Would you say you built with it? Uh, your okay, that's a good question. So when I started YouTube, personally, I'm not from a rich family. Um, we are not rich. We are not that poor, but still we are not rich. So I couldn't afford a camera. Um, I only had a phone, and the phone wasn't even good quality. But I really loved content creation. So I had a choice to either be like, I can't afford a camera, so that means I can't do YouTube, that's too bad. Or just use what I have. So I just I just started with what I had, which was a very 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 bad camera. It was just a poor quality camera. But from there I kept improving. When I made money, or when I borrow my dad money, to be honest, yeah, I used to borrow my dad money. So when he gave me the money, I would invest in my thoughts. So ladies and gentlemen, we have one a great representative here from YouTube for Sub-Saharan Africa. Let's welcome her right now inside. Give it up for Miss Ali. So Charlie, the, the space is growing. Representative uh, from YouTube, welcome. Kindly continue, please. Oh yeah, so I just couldn't afford a camera or a, a good phone, so I just had to start to go to that, yeah. So, um, filming with phone versus a camera, what's the difference for you? Oh, I feel like filming with a phone is much easier. Mm -hmm. Even now that I, I have the money, I decided to buy a better phone. Okay. So I film with my iPhone 12 instead of a camera. I feel like if I'm, cameras are heavy. And then, I don't know, maybe it could be because I've always filmed with a phone. I just, actually, you know what, some phones are even better than some cameras. So it's like, for me, if I'm using a phone, yeah. So uh, with the phone versus camera thing, then we talk about editing too. Because you would usually edit your videos on the phone. So shooting with the camera, you will not have to move it onto the computer. Which editing software do you use and do you feel comfortable using editing on your phone versus laptop or, or the computer? If you do. Oh, uh, so when I started my channel, I used to edit on my phone. I used to use Power Director. So Power Director has a... <laughs> okay, let's, let's get it. So. Okay, so I was using Power Director, right. and Power Director had a watermark, so my brother hacked it for me, so I was able to use it without. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I didn't like the watermark showing. 
and my brother is a geek, so he hacked it for me, so I was able to use Power Director without the watermark. But then right now, I have employees who work for me, so I don't edit my videos. So my editor uses Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so now filming in Kenya, right? You filmed in other parts of Africa as well, and then now going to the United States to film. The crowd expectation, the shyness, the nervousness, how is it compared to all the African countries? Not, I'm not talking about the US. When you move country to country, how do you manage to film easily? Because you have thought that you just take your camera and then you walk in. Do you have the confidence as big as Mount Inafaja to here in Ghana? Oh, well, for me, what really helps me is God. I put God first in everything I do. And I know I wouldn't be where I am or who I am without God. So I just pray to God to give me the confidence I need to be the best version of myself. So honestly, sometimes when I look back, I'm like, how did I even do that? And I remember I prayed, so I know God gave me the strength to do whatever I do. But of course, after I pray, you need to do the work. So I encourage myself and I just hit the streets. And yeah, I do, I do street vlogs. Okay, yeah. after you pray, you do the work. One yeah. last word for this beautiful audience. Oh, well, if you watch my channel, my slogan is that nothing is impossible. So I just love to tell people that um, today, things may be difficult, you might not know what you're doing. Some of you may be feeling very confused. You probably have a channel, but oh, you don't, you're so confused. I just want you to know that you're not the only person. I remember when I was starting, I used to be very confused, you know. I wanted to create content, so I didn't know what I was doing. I was hoping everyone, when I go online, this video is trending, oop, I'll do it. And then did makeup videos, I'm not even a makeup person. You try everything. So if you're feeling confused, you're not alone, but just never give up because two years from now, oh God, you hang God, you didn't give up. I remember I started with um, some people and they just gave up because they said, ah, this YouTube is too much. We are putting out content, we are not getting views, you are not making money. I don't know why I didn't give up, but I thank God I never did. Never give up. Things will get better if you don't give up. Thank you very much. <laughs> never give up. Give it up for Miss Julie. Give it up for Miss P. If you don't clap, when the minor no go come. Me and get them. If you don't clap, you don't go come. <laughs> so guys this is gonna be with Amaya but if you watched this video up to now I say a very big thank you to you I really appreciate you guys for always coming back to watch my video I love you but if you're new here remember to subscribe hit that notification bell for your girl so that you will not miss any of my upload so guys yes guys this is voiceover like I said I'll be reconnecting back with Miss Trudy but if I cannot because of my voice in this video because I just came in town a day before you know they actually have this uh, YouTube meeting great but if not we're gonna see together again we're gonna be able to meet in future but I'm glad I'm meeting each and every one of them and I'm gonna be showing you the video one after the other this is with Miss Trudy and it's so nice I'm so happy I meet her